How you going everyone? Trev's Travel Tales and a wobbly start to the new year. Let's go for a, uh, a Guinness Extra Stout. This is uh, 6% and I think everyone in the world knows what Guinness is. Even if you're not Irish. We've all had one or two over the years. Actually don't mind to have a uh, Stout and lemonade occasionally, like my old man used to have, and uh, stout and beer, the old black and tan. Anyway, as you can see here, hardly at all, it's an old, like a tennis grand final beer mug they gave you back in the olden days, a long time ago. B grade men's, the last grand final, or the last time I was in a team. Cheers, fellas. Yeah, not too bad. I was going to talk about Ireland, but I um, haven't been to Ireland. But I've drank Guinness all around the world, especially on uh, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, and I've been told not to order a black and tan if I do go to Ireland because uh, the Irish don't drink black and tans. That's basically for the Brits or the English. Anyway, we'll talk about Costa Rica only because I was thinking about the most exciting trip I ever had and that was uh, going through Central and South America. Yeah, that's going down well. Yeah, and I, I went to um, a place called Parque Nacional de Corcovado. Corcovado National Park is actually probably the best national park in the world. There's something like 50% of the bird species in one national park. And they have uh, at least three types of wild monkeys, mostly black howlers. And you also have tapirs, uh, crocodiles, uh, three types of wild cat, ocelot, puma, and another sort, which just slipped out of my mind. But uh, I went through there, and two other things scared the shit out of me there. One was a fertile land snake that tried to bite me as I walked over the top of a, a log. Uh, he came out of the leaf litter and tried to snap me on the leg. And the other one was walking silently. It was spitting rain and I was trying to get to see the wildlife without making a big noise. So I snuck up on these vultures and they took off. And their wings were at least two and a half metre wingspan. And they slapped them into the undergrowth trying to get away from me. And I'd walk back close to, I was like, maybe three metres. Yeah, not too far away. Couple, yeah, it's, what's that, ten feet, roughly. And they took off. There was about ten of them. And I absolutely did my head in. I just shit myself. Not literally. Not metamorphically. But I said, bloody hell. I, I turned around and I basically... Uh, that was the end of the trek, because after the fertile lance and the, uh, you know, all the rest of it, that happened, and I said, no, nah, that's enough, I'm going to die out here on my own. So I was on my own, I trekked in a couple of hours, you know, I reckon that's what life's all about, trekking around on your own, national parks. Go in with a group, you'll see nothing. On your own, you're silent, you can see everything. All right, I'll leave you with that. And uh, welcome to the show, girls, from the local bottle shop. You said you're going to jump on board. Hope you enjoy the stories, and uh, there's another one coming up soon. I'll just knock this one down, and we'll move on to the next beer. Cheers, fellas. Take care.